This time we don't have huge products right here standing in front of me on this table, but we do have a product, right? And it's going to be Team Group's uh, T-Force Vulcan uh, SoDim DDR5. These are 2 times 16 gigs at uh, 5200 megahertz. And even though we do have already higher clock speeds, these are the new ones from Team Group. So it will be quite cool to actually test them out. As you can see, well, you know the design of SODIMs, they are quite smaller than your standard uh, memory modules that go in a standard PC. These are designed for like HTPC or laptops. And these are with CL38 and the voltage is 1.1. So before we go into some sort of a benchmarks, uh, we need to go through some details about them so you know what we're going to actually talk about. You could either place them in the HTPC, as I already mentioned, that supports DDR5 so dim, of course, but you can also place them in your gaming laptop and uh, upgrade to next-gen DDR5 memory if the laptop supports it. The Vulkan memory delivers um, basically nice performance, but we'll get to that part later on. A simple installation, there's no fuss about it. Uh, you just have to either remove the old ones, but regardless to that, um, if you have lower speeds than 5200 megahertz, this will be a quite nice boost. Now there is also one thing that I have to mention is that it has ultra thin graphene heat spreader that enhances cooling. Some features that they mentioned uh, as the main features of the Vulkan uh, DDR5 so dim. We have a faster game launch and loading, ultra thin graphene heatsink for enhanced heat dissipation, improvement of battery life of gaming laptops, Upgrade capacity for effortless gaming experience, a power management IC chip and on die ECC error correction mechanism, rigorously selected high quality IC of stability and reliability, and lifetime warranty, which is outstanding to have a lifetime warranty. Now, these SODIM are actually following the release of DDR5 desktop memory. You can choose up various uh, possibilities in capacity. You can go with one stick of 16 gigs, 2 times 16, 32, or 2 times 32. Data transfer bandwidth is 41,600 megabytes uh, per second. Voltage is 1.1, as already uh, stated. Compatibility is with uh, Intel laptops that uh, have 13 generation uh, processors. Uh, module type is DDR5 262-pin non-ECC unbuffered DIMM. We have frequency at 5200 MHz and latency is CL38. Uh, now, the dimensions are 30 times 70 times 3.7 millimeters. And uh, what we need to add is Vulcan so dim uh, re requires lower power consumption than DDR4, running at 1.1 compared to 1.2. And this allows uh, you guys and other users to experience better gaming performance, which will definitely improve the gaming laptop's battery life. Now, what I've managed to test out, and I, as you noticed, I haven't been doing Sodim uh, reviews uh, because um, I barely have any device to actually test it out, especially on DDR5, but luckily I did have a laptop that has DDR5, so it uh, had 5600 MHz, so it was a bit of a downgrade in those terms, but I wanted to check out the speeds on these ones to see how it will perform compared to those. So, as you can see in the chart, 5600 MHz has almost 69,000 uh, megabytes per second read, while these ones have almost 61,000 megabytes per second read. Then we go to the right, uh, we have uh, 62,000 megahertz comparing to 70,300 megabytes per second. Then we have copy 63,700 megabytes per second copy, while we have on these ones uh, 61,400. And uh, the latency on the 5600 megahertz is 90.4 90 nanoseconds, while on these ones is 109.2 nanoseconds. Will it improve your gaming? Will it give you some additional boost with loading screens or will it save a battery? Uh, when we're talking about the voltages, it might help with the battery life. But uh, uh, the cool thing is that regular DDR5 so dims in terms of when you open your laptop or you open your HTPC that supports DDR5, right? The cool thing about this is that they have a graphene heat spreader that will definitely kind of lower some thermals and give more stability during the performance, without a doubt. Usually you don't get any type of heat spreaders and they are just having those stickers which uh, Vulcan Sodim have here at the back. 
So that's cool. At least something, right? So guys, uh, team group T Force Vulcan DDR5 so dims at 5200 megahertz in variation of two times 16 gigabytes. Uh, if you're looking for something like this and you need to upgrade your gaming laptop already because uh, DDR5 so dims aren't that uh, old, I would say. But if you do need some upgrades, you can always check the link in the description if you need to. And uh, that'll be it for today. Hope you liked the video. It was a bit shorter than usual, but uh, since uh, we're talking about something that I haven't got into review that much in terms of having more data to compare, hopefully this 5600 to 5200 gives you some idea about everything. And that'll be all for today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and click the notification bell for future content coming right up tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.